Welcome back, spooky cuties, or welcome to my fabulously low-budget channel. Tis I, your ghost host, with the most, Patricia Absinthe, as well as your co-host, Sir Humorous Corpus. <laughs> He's very happy to be here. <laughs> yes. Uh-oh. Uh, help? Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit dorky and demented, but anyway. So today, as you saw, we are unboxing the current Loot Crate Loot Fright. And this is not sponsored yet. I would not complain about being sent things for free to open. I actually used to, got, used to get Loot Crate, and I used to get Loot Fright. But I cancelled them a couple of years ago just because, especially with the customs and the shipping, Canadian, it ended up costing quite a lot for what I got, and it's not that I didn't enjoy it, it just wasn't necessary. It wasn't anything that I was like, oh my god, I need to keep this box. And right now I'm pissed because Canadian, they put the custom sticker right on the front of the box. Not the address, the address on the other side, they just direct the beautiful front of the box. Boo! I'm very upset about it too. That is you. You can chill with good sir. You have done your starting out duties. Hooray! Don't fall over sir. There we go. So for this box, I was trying to pick what I could show you guys, like what kind of things you'd even have an interest in me opening. And most goths are dorky, demented nerds that love horror, and a lot of horror fans obviously also appreciate goth. So like, hey, what better? Let's open a horror box together. Let's see, is it worth it? Is it worth me resubscribing? Is it worth me opening on the channel? Let's, let's give it a go. Let's see what kind of horror goodies we can have, especially as my first box in like two and a half three years is the october horror box right at halloween what could be in here is this worth it am i going to be underwhelmed as the sephora advent calendar box i just did underwhelmed me let's find out together <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yay okay So, the things that I know I liked about the previous boxes that I got were, uh, there were some cool mugs. I still have my Freddy Krueger chopsticks. Like, there were a few cute homewares, but just nothing that made me go, oh my god, I need to keep this. It's worth the, like, fuck. With shipping, this thing was, like, $75. Oh, no! Let's find out. Is... Is it worth $75? I have optimism. Maybe it's a great few things in here. Oh, that is, that is such an empty box. <laughs> no! See, and this is why I had, um, cancelled it. Okay, let's see. We got Universal Monsters, Collect All Four, at least this is actually really cool, ASMR crinkles. Universe Monsters, Correct All Four, Frankenstein, except of course it's Frankenstein's monster. Not oh, Frankenstein. Well, let's see how I feel about this. At least this is this is pretty cool. Ooh. Interesting. The details are really good. 
Why are his legs all fucked? Okay. Why is he kind of squishy? Hmm. Arm does not go that way. Hmm. I mean, like, even the butt cracks detailed, so that's, that's something. Let's see. Focus. On. And not. You can see what I mean. The, the jacket is really detailed. He is poseable. Yeah, it is pretty cool. I do like that it's a collectible. That would have been perfect though if I got Bella Lugosi. That makes me whine. Just because Bella Lugosi's dead doesn't mean I don't want him. Yeah, like, it's cool. I don't know if it's $75 cool, but it is cool. And I do like the detail that Oh, if you go all the way up, what's happening over there? It's where his shirt is. Like, even the fly of his pants is detailed. So, again, it's interesting. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I, $75 cool? Maybe. Let's see. If I were to order something like this, from a horror collectible site. Or if I went in the cool comic store and didn't buy everything, I think he would be like $30, $35. So to me, value-wise, he is half the box. I mean, not bad. I am questioning their choice in making it clear acrylic though, but I guess it's kind of ghostly. Focus. Focus. Focus on his face. Focus, Spongebob. Come on. Come on. Oh, well. I mean, cool is what that bit. Yeah. I'm going to give him about half of the value of Bob. Ooh, does he have a sticker? Oh, a sticker! <laughs> yeah, Boris Karloff did an obviously fantastic job acting. Ah, I am whiny that I didn't manage to get Bela Lugosi. Yeah, the options were Creature from the Black Lagoon, Bela Lugosi, Dracula, Wolfman, Frankenstein's Monster. Is Dr. Frankenstein is a different character. But I horror digress. Okay, so I'd give him about half the value of the box. Again, pretty cool. What do you think? I do like this. So it looks like collectible postcards. Oh. Okay, they get higher points for this. This is actually really cool. So it's three postcards. So, meet the monster of the Bavarian Alps. That is pretty. And he's just resting, waiting for a new life to come. Dr. Henry Frankenstein. Again, that's pretty cool. See the beast of... If I can never say it right. L Lon Welly. <laughs> Don't judge me. I was never really into the wolf man. But even a man who is, who, uh, who is pure in heart and says his prayers by night may become a wolf when the Wolf's Bane blooms and the autumn moon is bright. Pretty cool. Oh, obviously my favorite, 
visit the horror of Transylvania. The strength of the vampire is that people will not believe in him. Professor Abraham Van Helsing. I like it. Oh, again, the artwork on these is beautiful. Fun fact, uh, from, I think it was a general loot crate, and it just happened to be a Lord of the Rings one, of which you can guess made me a little bit happy. I actually, it came with an art print of Pippin and Mary in Treebeard. It's beautiful. And that's the, uh, what I ended up taking when I got to meet Billy Boyd at a convention and had him sign. So that was actually pretty neat. And it did come from Loot Crate. Like what I do give them is what they do give you is at least quality. Actually, this is it. So they have a, a box, yeah, a QR code. A, what is it, Minecraft zombie pin, I think is cute. And a shirt. Okay, the art prints. Say game ten bucks. Is this a thirty dollar quality shirt? I mean, it's cool. And my loot crate shirts have lasted a long time. Ah. Uh, again, it is. It's nice. I'm not mad. Completely. <laughs> if you're American and you qualify for the free shipping, it's a good deal. If you're Canadian, it sucks. I'm just glad there was no, at least the shipping seems to have covered the customs. I give it that. And again, they do have high quality shirts, the print. I think only two of my shirts have ever, like, peeled on the print. Like, the print is on there really good. And they've definitely even improved their sources for shirts in the last couple of years. Like, it feels like a good quality shirt. And obviously for loot wear, they do actually, like, it is all licensed. Which is obviously good. Again, it's it's cool. I'm not mad that I got the Frankenstein's monster theme box. I mean, I do like him. I'm whiny that I didn't get Dracula. 75% chance I wouldn't. And I didn't. I, think I, I would say this is actually a really cool collectible. And... At least I've only paid for two more of these. I, uh, I prepaid three of them, so then in a couple months we'll open another one. Yeah, it is a high quality collector's item. I like the sticker. Yay! The postcards are cool. Damn. The whole reason I got it back was I had this fun idea of like unboxing homewares with you guys, actually opening cool things and be like, oh my god, is this good for a gothic home that loves horror? And they put all their value in an action figure. A nice one, but an action figure. <laughs> oh boy, well. Would you pay seventy five dollars for this? <laughs> yeah, it is a good figure, but even like if it came in like the box, if it had a box, and I saw this in a comic store, like maybe forty at most, forty at most. Fuck the pen, I'm including that. Say so $10 for the art prints. Because again, they are really pretty. And they are high quality. They're just art. So, 50 Is this a $25 shirt? Eh. Eh. I 
got I, I I used to get this, so I'm not disapp I'm not surprised. I'm not like super disappointed. Uh, help. Well, I am in the way that this is like the least exciting. <laughs> Here you go, my mostly empty box. What? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, yep. Again, those prints are really cool. And the figure is great quality. I mean, of course it is, it's from NECA, Loot Crate Crypt Club. I mean, it's nice. But yeah, when you have to pay so much in shipping because you're Canadian, it eats a lot of the value. <laughs> and I'm just reliving how good that Lord of the Rings crate was. Eh. Probably won't be renewing this one, but uh, hey, you never know. And maybe, maybe the Loot Crate gods will see this and go, you have been wronged, Patricia. Here you go. Have some boxes to open. <laughs> the one good thing I do have to say Again, the issue is the shipping, as at least you have access to the Loot Crate shop, so all the extra shit that they have for subscription boxes. It's part of the only reason I've kept Ipsy, well, Boxy Charm, I actually can't see the Ipsy, but I kept it because I do enjoy getting discounted crap, but this is... Yep. <laughs> yep, yep. Well, anyway, my dears, um, that was underwhelming. <laughs> Why is everything I'm opening today underwhelming? I am underwhelmed. <laughs> hold me. Uh, help. I guess I'll hold you. Ah, get out of my fishnets. Well. Oh, no. Yeah, me too. Just. <laughs> I was so excited. I walked in the rain to go to my mailbox to go get this. How do you feel about it? <laughs> you humorous? This is why I have you here. Someone else to share my disappointment. Wow, that was freaky. That was just meh. Again, that figure is really cool. So you pay that much money in Canada, you open a box. That's three things. And a pin. Ah. Ah. Maybe I'm just spicy today. I don't know. Would you pay $75 for that? <laughs> I'm gonna guess most people would say no. I do like the mystery. And again, I've said it a million times in this video. It is a really good figure. Beautifully done. Just the word. You shaking your head. I saw that when I was moving here. But here, like, mm -hmm. she's judging me. She's like, look at this dumb bitch spending all that money when this box cost the same amount as I did. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. That's another way to view the work. The fact that Sir Humor is here with $75. And so is this box. Eh. Eh. I was hoping for home decor and, and cool horror stuff. And I mean, I do, it is, again, they have gone up in quality and quality over quantity. That was good. Just meh. Meh. How do you feel? Let us know. How do you feel, humorous? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, anyways, I hope you have a lovely spooktacular day. Let me know. Are you going to rush out and get a loot crate? A loot fright? I do know the regular loot crate was really good. Just again, like the theme changed all the time, which was okay, but I won't. Yeah. 
I hope you have a wonderful day. You can, of course, subscribe to watch me be underwhelmed <laughs> opening packages. <laughs> but you get to see Sir Humorous, so there's that. Hey, look at him. Hooray! You can't say no to that face. And on that note, you can subscribe if you want. Like it if you also think this was underwhelming. But the action figure, that Frankenstein's monster, is cool. And it is a lot of value. We give it that. And the art is gorgeous. We acknowledge that. Maybe my expectations were too high. I don't know. I'm just used to having homewares. I like homewares. Anyways, I hope you have a wonderful spooktastic day. Do something creepy and fun for the fall season. And I will see you in the next one. <laughs>